Hello, my name is Hannah, and this is my first i No, it's not, sorry. <laughs> you can delete that. Hello, my name is Hannah, and this is my first iProspect TV video without Kevin trying to stick his face in. So today I'm going to talk to you about my five top Twitter tools I use for business. So number one is TweetDeck. So TweetDeck is a Twitter dashboard which is owned by Twitter itself and you can access it on TweetDeck.com. So what I love about TweetDeck is it is, just gives you a whole bird's eye view and a really good snapshot of what's going on on Twitter at any time. So you can create customized streams and lists um, involving whatever you want to follow or you're interested in. So in my case, I have my own feeds such as the iProspect feed and my own personal Twitter feed. So that just lets let you see whoever you're following or you can get more customized and personalized and create lists with certain hashtags. So in this case, we might be following hashtag digital marketing to stay on top of any ongoing news. So you can keep a constant eye on that and it will constantly update as well. And another list you can create is a list of maybe a private list you've created on Twitter full of people maybe that are influencers in your industry. So you can add them all to a list and you can add the list there and just keep an eye on those influencers and really be able to engage with them at all times so they don't get lost in your overall Twitter feed. Um, what also is great about it is you can schedule tweets as well, which is what I do pretty much every day. I'll sit down, I'll schedule loads of tweets for the day and then you just set them out for every time you want to go and that is your Twitter activity done for the day. Grand. My second most favorite Twitter tool is Twitter Analytics, which can be accessed through the Twitter deck. And to get access to the Twitter deck is by, you know, paying for a paid Twitter campaign. Now, it used to be the case that you had to pay at least 5K to get access to this. But now, as most you know, you can now, you know, spend, you know, at least 100 or 10 or even 50 or on Twitter to put into a paid campaign. So that will give you access to this Twitter Analytics data. And what's so great about this is because you can track followers and gain followers over certain periods of time and what I use mostly is so every time you send a tweet it will automatically populate into this list of all your tweets and you can change the time so you can just look at tweets from the past month or the past two years so it will tell you the tweet you posted at the time the amount of clicks there was if there was a URL and many amount of favorites or retweets or replies that we got so what I do is I dump all this in Excel and I can add up all the data for the tweets that month and compare month on month and just really track engagement. So that's what I like about this tool. And number three is Bitly. So Bitly is a URL shortener. So if you have a really long URL such as iProspect TV forward slash the best blog in the world and you don't want to throw that onto Twitter because it just looks really long and not very nice to look at. <laughs> um, so you stick it into Bitly and it'll shorten it. So what's great about Bitly is once you have an account which is free, you can track the amount of click that individual Bitly link got. So it's great if you don't have access to Twitter analytics because as I said, that can count the amount of clicks every URL got in your tweet. So in Bitly, it does the exact same thing. So it's great for measuring how interested people were in that topic and how many people clicked on that link to go to your website. And my fourth tool is Google URL Builder. So one of the problems and difficulties with Twitter marketing is knowing if your efforts on Twitter are really paying off. So what Google URL Builder does is allows you to create a special URL which allows you to track visitors to your site on Google Analytics via Twitter much more effectively. So basically you can sort out any traffic to your site that came via Twitter via URL you post on Twitter, if that makes sense and you can basically just see if they are converting on your site, you know, achieving goals and how much time they're spending on your site, stuff like that. And last but not least, my fifth favorite Twitter tool is FollowerOnk. Now FollowerOnk is a Moz tool and I wrote a very detailed blog about the tool a few months ago which you can check out and there'll be a URL below in the blog post. So basically what's so great about FollowerOnk um, you should really sit down and use this before you even plan any Twitter strategy or, pl or marketing plan. So it allows you to do things such as find really targeted followers and look at demographics and find out really basic stuff like what time of day your followers are most active. So it's really great for getting the most out of your campaign. So that is a very quick summary of my five top Twitter tools. There are so many more that you can use. So let us know what your favorite Twitter tools are. So thanks for watching and make sure to watch our next video.